Action. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Body Rock TV. I'm Coach Jay, and I am back. Today, we are going to use a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, go ahead and grab a dumbbell. I like the sound effect. Go ahead and grab a dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell, body weight options are available for you. I will guide you. Just stick with me. We're going to do a little warm up, and then we're going to work into 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Feel free to set your own timer. If you don't have a timer, I got you. I got you on that, too. Uh, make sure you got your waters, too. And if it's hot, in her like it is in her then make sure you got your towel because you might get a bit schnetty but we're up for a fix aren't we okay let's start a nice warm up um my favorite way to start a warm up is an inchworm i love kind of keeping my legs straight bending at the waist just lengthening out the hamstrings and then i'm gonna hit that lovely up dog shoulder check on the right shoulder check on the left not just for driving and then we're gonna go back into a down dog from here, pedal at the feet. And then what I like to do sometimes just to kind of amplify this, I'm gonna to touch my opposite toe, I'm gonna to push his shoulder, raise my hips, and then I'm gonna float forward back into that up dog again. From here, down dog, reach back, and come forward again. Don't worry about the timer, we're gonna flow through for the warm up. My main goal is that going into this workout today, you feel amazing and your body has a chance to just sort of, you know, reset from the day, all right? Beautiful, from here, the world's greatest stretch. Option to have the knee down or the knee up. I find this a little intense. My quads are tight, so I like to keep the knee down. And then I'll show you a little trick what you can do. So inside hand reaches under the armpit, twist up. Let's go two reps. And then we're gonna actually bring the back knee up off the floor for two reps. Let's repeat that. Reach under and up. Good, and then up. And up, beautiful other side. Switch the legs, however you need to get there, you can if you're a little tight. Two rotations. Good, and then back knee is gonna go up, Three, up. Good, last 30 seconds here. Nice, okay, so we're gonna do a scapular push-up. So what we essentially are trying to do from our knees, if we need to, or from a plank position, is squeeze the shoulder blades together, you can see. Sliding, okay? So elbows don't bend. That's the most important thing. So don't think about the push-up when you think about this. Think about dropping your chest through your shoulders, maintaining your plank position. This can also be done from the knees, okay? And it just gets the shoulder girl moving a little bit through here. All right, beautiful. On the bell, grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell. We only have 15 seconds, so gotta move quick, all right? When I do kettlebell squats, a couple options. One we're gonna use is a goblet. Pinch it between the hands, rest it against your chest as a counterweight. In a squat, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, toes turned out maybe to about 15 degrees. Everyone's anatomy is a little bit different. So your squat might look a little different than someone else's, that's okay. Most important thing is tracking the knees out kind of over the ankles. You don't wanna be in a position where those knees are here, all right? So I want a little external rotation from the hip and I'm sitting my hips back into the squat coming through, back of the squat, coming through. Max reps, keep going, there's the bell. Excellent, kettlebell swings are next. Take a nice deep breath. All right, kettlebell swings, if you've ever wondered how to do them properly, today's the day. All right, so I don't want you to hinge your hips back until the kettlebell slaps you in the groin. So this is not a kettlebell swing. All right, it's hinging with the kettlebell and then using hip extension to shoot the kettlebell forward. Notice I'm waiting, 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 slap, go. I wait to that last second to absorb the kettlebell. My wrists are nice and tight to my groin. You can see my collarbones the whole time. Beautiful, bring it down. Then you will actually feel your glutes and hamstrings in the kettlebell swing, as well as your heart rate, as you can tell. All right. Bottoms up, Three, kettlebell two, thrust. One. Right, so protract the shoulder girdle, pinch the ribs in, and we're going to press the kettlebell overhead. I'm keeping my glutes tight, my ribs in. If you're really restricted through your thoracic spine, you might flare your ribs when you reach up. So okay, fine, if you have to get there, try to reset and glue those ribs down. 
It's really helpful to squeeze the glutes here as well. Excellent, and rest. On the next round, I'm gonna go through all the body weight modifications for all of this. Nice to have the coaching in the first round, and then we can kind of flow through on the second and third, okay? Kettlebell curls. So, hammer grip. Elbows pinched in. We're gonna pull the shoulders back. Again, I'm keeping my glutes tight. And it's basically a nice little hammer curl right here. Love this one. Nice. And you'll notice this, I don't know what it is about bicep curls, they just get the heart rate up. Good, keep those elbows pinched in. Reset your grip anytime if you need to. We're going down into two rounds of core after this, so enjoy it. Yeah, very good. All right, the kettlebell pull through. Come on down. Set up so that the kettlebell is gonna go across your midline, okay? Don't have the kettlebell in front of your hands. Have your hands in front of the kettlebell. Beautiful, from here, feet are wide, legs are loaded. I'm just gonna pull that kettlebell to the other side. Little trick so that your hips don't wiggle all over the place is I'm pushing this foot into the floor as my hand lifts off the floor. And that will keep me stable. If I don't do that, my hips, they're gonna be all over the place. You know what they say. Hips don't lie. Exactly, Shakira, Shakira. Did I get that right? You did get that right. Amazing. I know. It's only our second video together. It was meant to be. Yeah, beautiful. So that one, kind of we refer, refer to as like an anti-rotation. So now we're gonna go pro rotation. We're gonna do that rotation in the classic Russian twist. I love anything Eastern European. Always ends up being really hard somehow. <laughs> right? Bulgarian split squats, brutal. Russian twist, like, I don't know what they have it out for us, but... Czech ex-wives are not good either. <laughs> right? Nice, so I'm just kind of keeping my legs neutral. You can absolutely bring your feet off the floor. Just watch that they're not swinging around all over the place. Okay? Yes, very good. Okay, that's the first round. Let's do it all again. So, if you haven't guessed by now, kettlebell squats can just absolutely be a regular body weight squat, okay? And you can also go bottoms up if you want to. A little bit more challenging variation. Okay, max reps here. If you need to sit back towards your couch, a coffee table, so you can get the glutes firing a little bit more, Absolutely, that can work really well, is giving your hips a target. Especially if you notice your knees first squatter, right? Knees first. I want your hips and your knees to break at the same time. And rest, 15 seconds. Okay, so kettlebell swings. Um, if you're using body weight, I'm gonna get you to do a little good morning. So I'm reaching my hips back, and then I'm pushing my hips forward, all right? Good, let's go. Now, if you're using the kettlebell or a dumbbell, same movement for the dumbbell. Practice waiting until it hits your groin before you throw those hips back. And then the hips have to be fast. The whole point of this movement is explosivity through the hips. You can't do a slow kettlebell swing. You just can't do it. So explode those hips and keep your feet firmly planted to the floor. Yes, excellent work. Kettlebell press is next. If you want a little harder variation, what you can do is 15 seconds of a bottoms up, each side, really challenging. If you're having a hard time balancing, you can go palms in or just start straight, bottoms up. Lots of options. Especially if you have a really light kettlebell, this isn't gonna feel like much. So try single arm. And max reps here. What are we doing? Ribs in, thumb in. Three, two, one, lovely. Exercise completed. Not true, we're still going. Three, two. Kettlebell curls. One. All right, straighten the elbows. I like this variation because it keeps you out of this, this habit. Because you can't go anywhere, because the kettlebell is gonna be trapped right in your midline. So 
for those of us that are kind of dodging our curls by moving the humeral head forward and not actually extending the elbow, this is a great variation for you. Forcing you to keep the chin tucked in, shoulders back. Yes, very good. Kettlebell pull through. Let's see, this time I'm gonna challenge you to see how stable you can keep your core. I always think like my favorite drink is a Negroni. Oh, gross, that's so gross. No, stop, it's oh, so, so good. bad. So good. Is it black licorice? It's not black licorice, it's not absinthe. Negronis, it's a little bitter. Black licorice is a stretch. However, the point is, is if someone put a Negroni on my back, I'd be very tempted not to spill it. So that's what I'm thinking about. Isn't that sad? That's sad that that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> sad or epic? Three, two, one. Wholesome version. Put a glass of water in your bag. I don't know. Speaking of, cheers. Okay, last but not least, we've got our Russian twist. Let's go. Good, I'm trying to keep my chest up here, ribs in, but I'm rocking back into my tailbone. If we're here with that uh, pelvis pointing forward, your hip flexors are gonna get really pissed at you. So try to sit back into more of a neutral pelvis. Five seconds, you can do it. And at the bell, time. Well done, squad. I don't know, should we do one more? I think so. Kettlebell squats. This round, I'm gonna push you. I want you to get as many reps as you can. It's good form, as many reps. Let's go. So I'm gonna really push my pace here. You'll notice that I'm not locking out at the top. All right, I'm keeping the tension through the muscle. Nice, that's it, go. A little bit more quads at this pace. Woo, you know it's bad when you're looking at the clock. Push, don't even lock the knees. As soon as you're up, you're down. As soon as you're down, you're up. Yes, good. Holy crap. Quads, okay, swings. For those doing that body weight variation, same thing. Push back, squeeze up, push back, Three, squeeze up. Two, Leg up. If you're comfortable with kettlebells, you can play with single arm. You can play with overhead variations. Lots of options. And again, I'm absorbing the kettlebell. I'm letting it track its natural momentum. I'm not holding it up any longer than gravity wills it. Whew. Yes. Well done. 10 seconds, breathe. Whew, we sweat. Okay. Five seconds. Press this. Three, two, one. Bottoms up, baby, let's go. Where are you feeling this? So overhead press, primarily targeting the shoulders and kind of underneath the shoulders are muscle groups like your stratus, your teres, your lats. All those muscles are supporting this position, similar to a front squat or a goblet squat, just slightly away from the body, making that position a little bit more challenging, using more muscle groups to kind of stabilize it. Okay. Curls. Whoo! This might be my favorite one. The rest of them are just really hard. <laughs> All right, five seconds. Two. Hammer grips. Let's go. What do you say to people that are nervous about muscle, particularly uh, women? So I, I kind of would guess my question would be, where does that come from? Is it a body image issue? You know, is self love your motivator? Um, because I think any composition in our body that we strive for has to come from love you know and um growing muscle is a lot harder than people like to make it out it takes tons of calories and six months to a year of hard hard work like you have to be trying 
to put on muscle. So if you're not executing that type of lifestyle, chances are, you know, you're just getting stronger at the current muscle mass that you have. You're getting some tone going. Yeah, I mean, reduction in body fat, who doesn't want that to a certain degree, right? As long as everything in your body is telling you that you're healthy and you have, you're vital and you're performing well and you've got good energy, all the things, that's your body's real-time feedback that, hey, you're doing something right, you know? And aesthetic is sort of just a, a fun by byproduct to a healthy lifestyle and being truly happy with yourself. There's been times in my life where I was working harder, per se, in all the wrong places and didn't look nearly as good, you know? So mindset is a lot to do with that as well as consistency over time. There's no shortcut to greatness. This is your last 10 seconds, body walkers. I want you to push through here. Remember, this is our hardest round. Good, don't quit. Yeah, well done. Excellent work. I hope you're as sweaty as me, uh, and, or at least almost as sweaty as me. I tend to be a, a leaker, you could say. Have some water, it's summertime, stay hydrated. I'm Coach Jay, and I'll see you next time.